Welcome to Guided Meditations with Kevin Karras and Seer Music. Well, welcome everyone to Yoga Fest 2020 online. Um, I'm Kevin Karras with Matthew De Robertus here in Seer Music. Um, and we're just so excited to get to uh, join online for this uh, annual festival uh, to really celebrate this anniversary year of Yoga Fest. Um, and I know that for a lot of us that this is very challenging to have to be home um, during quarantine. And I know that a lot of us really look forward to Yoga Fest online um, or in person. So. Um, Anyways, uh, today's practice will be a guided yoga nidra sound journey. Um, and I'm so excited to be uh, collaborating with Matthew on this uh, and to just to get to introduce him. We've been collaborating for about four years now and two years on this project. Um, so I'm just really excited to introduce him. Uh, he's a super talented musician um, in a variety of different bands um, and also a very dedicated yoga teacher. So with that, just introduce Matthew. Thank, thank you for the glorious introduction, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, this has been one of my favorite projects um, in the last year or so. Uh, in, in my time as a musician and a yoga teacher, I've been looking for ways to fuse these worlds of yoga and spirituality. And um, you know, I've always loved making ambient soundscapes, and I love the feeling of being immersed in a just open, vast sound and allowing that to take me into a vast, open, conscious space. Um, so it's my intention with the uh, sounds I'm creating here and this practice with Kevin that uh, we're creating to uh, bring you into that space in this practice. Yeah, and and he really does an amazing job at creating a musical landscape. He does all the work. <laughs> I'll just I'll just be talking to you about it, um, and just briefly before I really hop into the practice, just so you know a little bit more about me, um, I consider myself a holistic educator. Um, I facilitate a holistic yoga teacher training program at the 200 hour level, um, and I just. Uh, really also get to enjoy my nonprofit work for uh, an annual yoga festival called Elevate Akron. Uh, it just really helps to make yoga more accessible and connected throughout the Akron, Ohio community. So um, it's my real honor to get to guide this practice. Um, yoga Nidra is one of my favorite practices. It's my longest standing teaching practice. Um, I've been teaching it for a little over seven years. Um, it's just so much more powerful to get to have this uh, live musical element um, throughout it. So um, what we'll be doing is we'll have about uh, 10 minutes of just some very gentle yoga to help warm our physical bodies up to rest. Um, we'll then go into a progressive muscle relaxation, which is essentially a pranayama technique where you'll utilize holding your breath, tensing muscles, and letting it go. Um, and then we'll have a guided body scan that will lead into the sound journey. Um, I have a bolster you see, and you may need some props like that throughout the class. So if you need anything, um, you can always just pause it right now and go ahead and run and grab those. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started with the class. So we're going to begin sitting up in today's class, cross-legged. And really take the time to Sit, scoot the glutes back to really adjust in the foundation of your seat. And to close your eyes. And begin to feel your inhale, sitting your spine up nice and tall. Your exhales to really allow the shoulders down and back. As you just feel your breath deepening in. And feel your breath lengthening out. Really feeling your breath fill up in the abdomen and chest. And feeling your 
breaths render down the chest and abdomen. As we just continue this breathing technique. As you just feel this breathing technique, begin to focus on the feeling of the breath in the chest. Feeling into your chest and your heart. And feeling your heart beating. to bring the hands together at the heart. And with the focus in your heart, to begin to set an intention for today's practice. Your intention doesn't need to be anything abstract or mystical, though it may be just taking a moment to really realize what is it that you want to dedicate this practice to. And while it may be one thing or several things, just take a final moment to say that in your own heart. Next inhale, let's begin the movement portion of our practice. Inhaling to reach our arms all the way up. Then releasing the hands to the floor behind you as you give a nice lift up through your chest, drawing your shoulder blades together. Taking a few breaths there with the heart and the chest nice and open. Last deep breath there. And then we'll go ahead and release. And we're gonna extend our legs nice and long here. So go ahead and extend the legs back and scoot the glutes back. As we sit up nice and tall, let's hug the right knee in, crossing it over the body. Hug it in as you sit up nice and tall. Breathing deeply as we release the right hand to the floor behind us. Lifting up with your spine. And twisting as you look over the right shoulder. Breathing deeply. Taking a final breath. Releasing for a gentle counter twist to the other side, legs will stay the same. And then coming back to center as you hug the knee in and get some rocking side to side. You can circle the leg out. And then go ahead and rest it inside the left thigh. Again, scooting your glutes back as you flex the left toes to the shin. And very gently inhale to reach up. And exhale to fold yourself down. As you hold the breath here for a few rounds. through your chest. And then to go ahead and release. 
release and extend the right leg to shake it out. And then to go ahead and hug the left knee into the chest, crossing it over if it's comfortable. And inhaling it as you sit up nice and tall. As you're ready to release the left hand to the floor behind you, sitting up nice and tall, and exhaling to look over the left shoulder. Take your last breath here. And counter twist it over to the right. Release it back to center and get some side to side movement in the leg. Circling it out. And then resting the left foot inside the leg. Flexing the toes to the shin. Reaching all the way up. Folding yourself down and exhaling to release. Deep breaths here. And final deep breath here. And when you're ready, inhale to bring it back up. Back up to the hands on the floor behind you. And lifting with your chest as you take a few deep breaths. And then let's go ahead and release the left leg and shake it out. And then we'll go ahead once again to come back to a cross-legged position. Scooting the glutes back. But switching the cross of the legs so you're in your non-dominant position. As we sit up nice and tall. Exhale and lower your chin to your chest. Then inhale to raise your chin up. Exhaling to lower it down. Inhaling to raise it up. Just with a few more rounds of breath. And then when your chin lowers down, begin some slow circles in your neck. Warming up this region of the body. And then changing direction. Chin goes to the chest, bring it back up to center. Then cross your right arm over the body with the left arm underneath. Take these final moments with the physical practice to just give a stretch to your shoulder. And then to release and switch the sides. Release the arms, bring them to the floor behind you to lift your chest. And to just take a few more breaths, feeling your heart open. And then to go ahead and release as you extend both of the legs out in front of you. For one last final fold. So inhale to reach your arms up and fold yourself down as we hold for five deep breaths. Just breathing in and out. And really attune with your breath as we 
take the time to slowly come back up. And then to go ahead and take your time to come onto your back as we prepare now for the progressive muscle relaxation. Take all the time that you need to get physically set up. The progressive muscle relaxation and the guided body scan will both be done on your back. So if you do need to get any more pillows or support, now's the time to do it. And when we do begin the progressive muscle relaxation, this will follow a very specific pattern with the breath. This pattern of the breath will follow a deep breath in, where we'll hold the breath, and then we'll be tensing the muscles in the body. So we'll be holding the breath, tensing the muscles in the body, and then exhaling to let the breath and the muscles go. So we'll follow this pattern with the breath. So go ahead and allow yourself to lay on your back. We'll begin. Starting first with the breath. Take a nice deep breath in. Let the top hold it for a moment. Then exhale and just let it go. Taking a nice deep breath in. And hold it. And exhale, let it go. Just one more, breathing in. To hold. And to exhale and let go. Returning to a normal breath. If holding the breath causes any anxiety or difficulty for you, know that you don't need to hold it. And you're welcome to just add in the tensing of muscles in the body. But otherwise, we're going to begin with the left leg. So let's begin. Take a deep breath in. At the top, hold your breath and flex the left toes to the shin, squeezing the whole leg, raising it inch off the mat. And then exhale to let it go. Returning again to a deep breath in. To hold as you tense and raise the left leg. And to exhale and let it go. Last one, deep breath in. To hold and tense the leg. And to exhale and just let it go. Returning to a normal breath, feeling the difference between the sides, and then preparing for the right leg. When you're ready, take a nice deep breath in, and hold your breath as you tense the leg, raising it an inch off the mat. And when you're ready to exhale, let it go. Just a deep breath in. To hold and tense the right leg. And to exhale and let the leg go. For a final round there, taking a deep breath in. As you hold and tense the right leg. And exhale to just let it go. Returning to a normal breath with the body. And just realizing that this progressive muscle relaxation is a chance to prepare for the deeper relaxation. So just really systematically letting go of tension in the body with the breath. As we prepare to engage the arms now, we'll do the arms as a pair. 
Let's begin. Take in a nice deep breath all the way in. To hold as we tense both of the arms, raising them an inch off the mat. And then when you're ready, to open the hands and exhale to let it go. Again, taking a nice deep breath in. To hold your breath, to tense both of the arms, to open up the hands, and to exhale and let them go. Taking a deep breath in. To hold as you tense the arms. And then to open up the hands as you just exhale and release them down. Returning to a normal breath. And feeling your body and the difference between tension and ease. Next area of the body that will be tensing will be the face. And the face is a little bit more dynamic because it'll have two movements. So the first half of tensing the face will really be scrunching it up like you're making a sour face. Then while still holding the breath, we'll raise the eyebrows up. We'll open up the mouth nice and wide to stretch the jaw and then we'll exhale, sticking the tongue out and down. So let's begin. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you hold the breath, scrunch the face up. Then raise your eyebrows up, stretch the jaw nice and wide, and stick the tongue out and down as you exhale. Relax the face, breathe in deeply. And hold as you tense the face. Raising the eyebrows up and stretching the jaw nice and wide. And sticking the tongue out and down as you exhale. Relax the face for a deep breath in. as you hold and tense the face. And then you stretch the face nice and wide. And you exhale the tongue out and down. Relaxing the face as you return to a normal breath. pauses will get a little bit longer. Pauses to just draw the practice deeper into your core. Speaking of, the next area of the body we'll be engaging will be the core. And when I say the core, I mean the glutes, the low back, the abdomen and chest. So let's begin. Take a nice deep breath in. As you hold the breath to the top, squeeze the glutes, the low back, the abdomen and the chest, and exhale, let it all go. Taking a deep breath in. As you hold and you tense the glutes, the low back, the abdomen and chest. And you exhale to let it all go. Taking a nice deep breath in. To hold your breath. Squeezing your glutes, your low back, abdomen, and chest. And when you're ready to exhale and let it go. Returning to a normal breath. As you return to 
your normal breath. Just know that we'll be engaging in these last rounds in the entire body. So these last three rounds will be engaging the legs, the arms, the face, and the core. So let's make it count. Let's begin. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. As you hold, you'll tense your legs, you'll tense your arms, you'll tense your face, you'll tense the core. Then you'll stretch the face, you'll open the hands, and you'll stick the tongue out and down as you exhale and release. Relax it as you take a deep breath in. Hold your breath as you tense up the entire body. And then stretch your body. And exhale to let it go. Taking in one final deep breath all the way in. As you hold and tense the whole body, and stretch the face and the hands, and exhale to let it all go. Returning to a normal breath. As we experience the progressive muscle relaxation coming towards an end, we'll be taking our time to just set up for a comfortable position that we can remain absolutely still in for the remainder of class. So if any part of your props need adjusted, just take your time to do this as we prepare for the guided body scan. adjustments. Just set the resolve that your body will be physically still. Your body will be physically still. Body is physically still. As we begin, be focusing on the feeling of the breath. And as you feel the breath, we'll be witnessing it in different areas of the body. And starting first with the nose. throat, and as we feel the breath in the throat, let's just bring it down into the chest, as you feel the breath in the chest, know that it's okay if your mind is wandering. Bringing it all the way down to the abdomen now. And as you let go of the need to control the breath in the abdomen, just know that the breath and the body can be completely easy and natural as we begin to send our awareness down the body. To begin our 
guided body scan as our awareness arrives at the bottom of the feet. As your awareness arrives at the bottom of the feet, just allow the feet to be as they are, noticing the sensations there. knowing that your feet are relaxed. Moving up the ankles into the shins. And feeling the shins relaxing down through the calves. Your shins and calves are relaxing down. And you begin to move up the knees into the quadriceps. Quads relax down through your hamstrings. And quads and hamstrings relax down. Moving up to the glutes and the pelvis. And the pelvis relaxes down the glutes and the legs. mind is wandering, know that this is very normal. Let's just bring the attention back into the sensations of the legs. And just feeling the legs completely relaxed. And grounded as we move into the area of the low back. While the low back can be an area of challenge for many people, just allow yourself to accept where you are today. Grounded and secure as you breathe deeply into your abdomen. abdomen relaxes and just move the attention up to your chest feeling your breath easy in your chest from your chest down your upper back just down into the floor beneath you feeling that support supported down the arms down the shoulders down the upper arms, down the forearms, and down the hands. As you feel the hands, the forearms, and upper arms, just allow your arms to be relaxed. up to the shoulders and into the neck feeling the breath easy in this area of the body all the way up into relaxing the face
relaxing the mouth, the jaw, and the temples. Relaxing the eyes deep into the skull. Relaxing deep into your brain. thoughts. Just feeling up to the crown of your head. The crown of your head relax down through the whole body. body relaxes down and becomes heavy. Just each exhale sending you deeper. your mind wanders to so just bring it back to stillness. deeper into the practice. Just allow the music to guide you. And there's nothing more you need to do.
discoveries we've made during the stillness. And then whether these are in the form of thoughts or insights or feelings in the body or sensations. these final moments to capture those and to bring you back with your breath feel your breath begin to re-deepen its rhythm to come back to some physical movement with the body. And then once you get some physical movement, to start to come to a nice opening stretch. And then once you get a nice opening stretch to roll onto a side. Go ahead and bring yourself up from your side to sitting. And when you come up to sit, to just bring your hands together at heart. As we close out today's practice, Just take these final moments in the space to, to really just set a final intention. And if there's something on your heart, to just really acknowledge that and to also know it's okay to just allow your intention to be for peace. peace and wellness for all. And so, we come to a formal close. Just by saying thank you, by extending our gratitude, I'm wishing you well. Have a wonderful day.